Welcome to episode 3 of Beginner Web Design. And in the last tutorial, we learned that HTML is comprised of multiple elements that have both an opening tag here and a closing tag. Inside of those two tags, you can stick text or other elements. So in this video, we're going to be actually learning how to create an HTML page and how to basically lay out the foundation of it. So the first thing we need to do is declare a document type. Now this document type is very important. In HTML4 there were multiple multiple document types such as strict or transitional. And they pretty much just told the browser to use a different set of rules. However, in HTML5 we have one single simplified document type so that all browsers render these rules the exact same way. So to declare it, we have to type open bracket, exclamation mark, doc type in capitals, and then HTML. Now this isn't really an element, so we don't have to type slash doc type or anything like that. We can just leave it as is. Now the very important thing here is that if you do not declare a document type, the browser will enter quirks mode. And this isn't really that visible on most modern browsers such as Safari, Firefox, or Chrome. But for older browsers such as Internet Explorer 8, they may render different elements differently because they're not really sure which rules and guidelines that should be used on the page. So always be sure that you have a doc type. After that, we're going to set up the HTML tag. Now this element is pretty straightforward, there's not much to explain here. It's just going to be the holster for any other elements on our page. Now inside that HTML element we have two other elements, which is head and body. Let's start off with head. So in the head of our page, there's not much that the user is going to see. This is mostly just data that's sent to the browser or it's calling for external scripts or style sheets or references anything like that the one thing that is really important that the user will see is the title element now let's just type in about us for example now on any browser at the top of the page it'll say about us now if you don't declare any title, it will just show either the name of that page, which here is untitled that HTML, or the path. So it could say knowyourmactouch.com slash untitled that HTML. And that's not really that great. So we want to always declare a title. The other thing to use in our head is a character type. This character type is really just telling the browser what set of characters to use. So this isn't as important to mess around with for just a basic English website. But if you're going to use a language outside of Roman characters, uh, for example, Japanese, you would need to use a different character type. So for this setup right here, I'm going to type meta http equivalent equals content type content equals text html car set equals utf8 and that is a little bit annoying and it's not that straightforward so i would just recommend that you just copy this one down because it's kind of confusing to just have to write it out all the time so i would just save this somewhere on your computer if your text editor allows snippets, I would save it as a snippet. This way you don't have to type it in every time. This is just loading the UTF-8 character set. If you're not really sure what that is, don't worry about it. You're most likely going to be using this tag all the time though. Now you'll notice that I placed a slash after this meta element. Why did I do that? Why not just type slash meta? The reason is, there are some elements in HTML that I call self-closing elements. They don't have anything that could ever go inside of them. 
For example, when we get into forms, we will talk about inputs. So a button, for example, there's no elements that are going to go inside of that button. And we know that for a fact. So when we type out that element, instead of just closing it right off and using it as a starting tag, we're going to place a space, then a slash, and then close the bracket. And that's automatically closing off the element. Okay. Now, that's pretty much it for the head of our page. There's not much else to put there as of now. When we get into styling the page and adding scripts, we'll revisit what else we can add to the head. But for now, let's go into the body. There's pretty much anything you can put here. So for example, I'll just grab a quick paragraph here and paste that in. And now if we preview it, we see that paragraph. It's pretty straightforward. Now, in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be learning what elements we can place inside of our body. Now, remember this setup because this is probably the most important part of HTML, which some people just forget. Every website needs to have the doc type, it needs to have the HTML tag, the head, the body, the title, the character set. So make sure you know that every single page that you're creating in HTML has to have those elements. I would copy this down somewhere on your computer. Uh, if your text editor supports snippets, again, save it there for the next time you use it. And then the next tutorial, I'll be showing you some cool things you can do inside the body.